The intended audience of this presentation are the Instant PDF users. If you're not one of them, then it's better to watch the general presentation that introduces ConnectU. Thousands of customers worldwide have made Instant PDF the application of choice for creating high-quality PDFs and working within a certified PDF workflow. Now the all-new ConnectU 11 will take its place within the InFocus product line, expanding on this core functionality while simplifying its day-to-day -day use, making it a must-have application for anyone who needs to create and deliver high-quality PDFs in the graphic arts industry. Let us now focus on ConnectU and what's new for the instant PDF user. To stay current with the latest operating systems, ConnectU is available for OS X 10.8, also known as Mountain Lion, and Windows 7 and Windows 8. An equally important benefit of ConnectU is that it still supports Creative Suite 5 as instant PDF does, but it also supports Creative Suite 6 and even the new Adobe Creative Cloud, also known as Creative Suite 7. In Instant PDF, you created queues that contained all your settings for the PDF creation, preflight, and file delivery. With ConnectU, you now define and create connectors. These are self-contained applications that have all the settings and technology contained within. The connectors can be used from within your desktop applications, but also as standalone programs on which you can drop PDF files. This is a major difference, and more on this later. The user interface is very different, but you will see that you will easily recognize the settings. Let us now set up a project to define a connector. You start by naming it, and optionally by assigning an icon to it. This is the icon of the connector on your desktop. The next step is to define whether you want to use a job ticket or not. This is new. In Instant PDF, you could use a job ticket only when connecting to a switch flow. In ConnectU, you can also use job ticket information in combination with mail or FTP. This greatly increases the value of what you are delivering, as you can include information that can be exploited by the receiver. When you are connecting to a switch flow, the connector will of course still use the job ticket information coming from switch. In the area of preflight, there are two very important new things. Firstly, through the use of a variable set, you can now take advantage of Pitstop's smart preflight technology. In the preflight profile, you can now use information from the job ticket to check the file. There is a separate presentation on how to configure that. Secondly, you can set the color management settings differently for each project. In Instant PDF, you could only use the settings from the preferences, or not use any color management at all. In the Print tab, you define whether you want to use a virtual printer and or a plug-in. The virtual printer is for use in applications other than Creative Suite, and the plug-in is for use in Creative Suite applications. The plug-in has to be installed separately. Both will use the same PDF preset that you pick from the drop-down list. When using a virtual printer, ConnectU has another major advantage over Instant PDF. The presence of distiller is no longer required. The connector has the Adobe Normalizer built right in, so you can rest assured you're getting a true Adobe PDF. In Instant PDF, the preflighted file was always saved somewhere. You now have a choice. When you disable local file saving, the preflighted file will be removed once it has been delivered. The new features offered by ConnectU in the area of file delivery include the following. There is a file size limit check, which is certainly handy when you are using mail as a delivery method. You can now also use secure FTP and HTTP as delivery methods. And last but not least, you can configure that a notification mail be sent, something which is very useful when you use FTP as a delivery method. Once the file has been uploaded, the connector will also send a mail to inform the receiver that there is a file on his FTP server, saving you yet another step. When all settings have been defined, you can create the connector. As you can see, this creates an application with the icon you have chosen. Double-click the connector when you have defined a virtual printer 
and the first time you will be prompted to install it. The connector is now ready to be used in three ways. You can print to it from an application, the difference with instant PDF being that the distiller is no longer required. You can export a PDF file to it from within a Creative Suite application, but you can also drop one or multiple PDF files onto it, yet another advantage of the new version. When job ticket information is required, you are prompted to provide it, and the rest of the process explains itself. I'm sure you will appreciate the many improvements ConnectU brings over Instant PDF, but there are a few other differences that have to be mentioned. Firstly, there is no possibility to choose the type of preflight report. It's always the annotated report. And secondly, there is no more support for certified PDF.net. However, this can now be handled in a different way. Together with ConnectU, and Focus is also releasing Connect All, a new version of what used to be called Pitstop Connect. This product is aimed at the service providers who can create a pre-configured connector very much like the way in which it is done with Connect U, and who can send that to you. You can then use that connector in exactly the same way as your own, apart from the fact that you cannot edit it. And there is an automatic update procedure built in that ensures that your connector is always up to date with the service provider's requirements. If you want to know more about this, I invite you to watch the presentation on Connect All. And finally, you should know that you cannot import the queues from Instant PDF into ConnectU. But as you have seen, it will not take a lot of time to redefine them as ConnectU projects, and you obviously only have to do this once. Thank you for watching this presentation.